Hi and welcome to the video. This is a part three of uh, unit testing with Python. And in this video, we are going to test a uh, API key. The, that is the gold red API key that we just developed in the few videos back. And we're going to write test function to test that. So let's get started. So we have this uh, function, uh, a class known as gold, which has an attribute known as get, which I've just wrote. And basically what it essentially does is it basically returns the text contents of the URL. If the URL is bad, if they change the API key, it's going to return bad response. Or if it timed out, it's going to return bad response. So in order to write the test function for that, <coughs> so we're going to import mock uh, from unit test.mock import patch. So you're going to write the mock get functions, right? Um, so essentially defining the class, which is inheriting from unit test.test case. Then we have a function known as test underscore get because the function name is get so we have to add test underscore get creating an object so essentially with patch we are going to use the patch gold dot request dot get so gold is the name of the python file request because we are going to test the request dot get we are testing that function functionality as mock get so then we say mock get dot return value dot ok is equal to true so I'm saying that the return value was true. That means the return value was good. Now, once that is done, so it, my function is returning some text twice. So what I'm trying to do is mock get dot return value dot text equals to success. So the text that is gonna return, it's gonna be success. Then simply I say data equals to self dot obj one dot get. So I'm calling that class method now i'm going to check assert equal to so if that data what whenever i make a request to that uh, url if that was equal to success then it's true otherwise it will the test will fail so this is this is a pretty simple way to uh, write mock get get request uh, to test your apis so again i repeat what we are trying to do is basically so we were trying to say that the mock return value was okay which is true right we initialize that to true then when we were getting the text content as success, we are setting up the, uh, the dummy text as success. So once we get that, what we were doing is basically we were calling the actual function and we were checking whether that uh, data was equal to success. If yes, then the test was true. So now if I run this file quickly, so we should see one dot ran one test uh, and it says okay. So this is the part three, uh, writing um, unit test functions for uh, with Python and um, writing uh, using some using patch. So that's it. And let's uh, end the video here. And if you have doubts, um, please uh, post your questions and queries in the comments and uh, would be very happy to answer them. Thank you.